course, a visit to Kabubu is all about meeting the locals and hearing them sing. But we're well aware that there are a few things you're perhaps not so sure about. So let's get them out of the way straight away. Yes, there is a good flush toilet. There's a decent shower too. It's cool rather than hot, but it gets the job done after a, a warm day. They bring you hot water for your tea and your coffee. And a few other bits and pieces you might need to know. Yes, you can get a mobile phone signal so you can call home at any time. You can even get the internet most of the time. And that's most important of all. The plugs are just like ours back at home. That's really handy for my hair dryer. In fact, this purpose-built accommodation, the buildings are known as banders, isn't bad at all. They're all in a nice secluded spot on the edge of the village itself, but in a private enclosure, so everyone should feel comfortable. And the food's great too. It's a really good breakfast, a good salad lunch and a really great dinner. And yes, most of us relax at the end of the day in the usual way. But what do you actually do during the day? Well, first up, at about eight each weekday morning, it's morning assembly. The Ugandan teachers do most of the work, but you'll probably be asked to lead one of the assemblies yourself for a few minutes. No experience required, honest. It was quite nerve-wracking at the beginning, but once I got going, it was fine. I'm quite used to speaking in church, but I've never done a school assembly. And having a translator, you have to remember that. <laughs> Apart from that, it went really well. Then, after assembly, it could be something practical, like building or decorating a school hall. There's plenty of work to be done. And in some of it, you get quite dirty. So if that's not your thing, you might be asked to share some of your expertise at a desk. Elaine is pretty good with numbers. Hi, my name's Elaine Saunders. I'm a financial controller. I'm here with a staff today teaching all about budgets. It's what I do. While Judy has got a thing about history. I'm Judith, and I'm teaching the children history through dressing up and acting it. And I hope that they're going to enjoy it. Today I'm going to be talking about the Titanic. This is what I do, lectures in dress. And if you're thinking, she must be a bit hot in all that get up in Africa, well, yes, it does get quite warm and sticky, but it's nothing worse than a humid summer's afternoon in England. And the mornings and evenings can be quite beautiful. On Saturday mornings, you might find yourself leading a craft session. This is the second half. It was twice as full earlier. And if you come out towards the end of the year, you may find yourself handing out Christmas presents to children who wouldn't otherwise get any at all. It's not all hard work, though. I had a go at basket weaving. How's it going, John? Well, you called me at just the moment when Josephine has taken over the last touches. But... <laughs> and then uh, took to the dance floor. But perhaps the most powerful thing you will do, the reason most of us are here, is to meet the people who have lived here all their lives. <laughs> this is Maria Kevin, a grandmother who Henry and I sponsor. And hiding behind the door here, just to the left, is a girl called Evelyn. Gillian and Andrew have been sponsoring her for 10 years, but they had never set eyes on her, and she had never set eyes on them until their visit. Hi, my name's Gillian Ives and I'm a mother of a ten-year-old boy and a five-year-old girl and it's my first visit to Kabubu and the best thing was meeting my daughter Evelyn and giving her a big hug. Your sponsored and I've daughter. Waited, a sponsored daughter and I've waited ten years for this. Amazing and it's just made me so happy. My name is Mike McKenzie, I'm a lawyer from England. My lasting memory of Kabubu is one of joy in so much deprivation in many ways, and yet there is so much blessing and so much gratitude in what little can be given. And anyone who wants to see the, the smile of a child should think very hard about contributing to what's going on here. My name's Andrew Ives, I'm from Eastbourne, I'm a design engineer. I've really enjoyed coming to work in Kabubu, I've really enjoyed the voluntary work that we've done. 
it's been a real privilege to uh, to work alongside some of the other volunteers and uh, to muck in and to help out and to get some work done and to give something back to the community. My name is Peggy McKenzie. I came here with my husband and um, I'm a housewife back in the UK. And here I would just like to say one thing. The people are filled with such joy. That's my overwhelming feeling about them. So come to Kabubu and you may find many more of your questions are answered.